All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this part four out. I believe this is part four. We did, well, maybe it's part three. I don't know. Anyway, so I've laid down the base coat. This is the uh, um, blue-gray metallic or dark-gray metallic. My sand scratches turned out pretty dang fly for a white guy, I guess you should say. Um, so I got the base laid down, everything looks great. I'm about to mix up my clear and tack it off. This does have a metallic in it, it looks nice, it's really nice looking color. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mix up my clear coat, then I'm going to tack it all off, and then I'm going to spray probably two medium coats of clear. Um, if this were not a car that the gentleman who owns it was going to resell, if he were going to keep it, I would put on either two heavy coats of clear or three coats of clear. Uh, as usually, That's what I would put on a vehicle that I was going to keep would be three coats of clear. Um, I am going to be using a high solids clear today. Not for any other reason, but I wanted to try this particular clear and uh, see how it goes out, goes on and works out. So essentially the high solids clear is going to give you better gloss and gloss retention. Uh, and because of the higher solids content, it will be more durable and last a little bit longer than a standard clear coat would, even a 2K. Um, so, she's all based out. Time to get my shit together and get her sprayed so I can go home on a Saturday. All right, so that's your uh, base coat portion. Looking great. I'll bring you back when I laid some clear down.